Hi, I'm Pamela Hackman from Makeup Designery. I don't know about you, but I love to travel and hate to pack. That's why I created my own personal palette for travel or home. It has all the colors I need for daytime or nighttime look. Okay, this palette I created has six eye colors and two cheek colors. The first color is lemon cream. It can be used as a highlighter on the eyes or anywhere on the face, especially the cheekbone. The rose beige is a great soft cheek color for light and medium skin tones, not too pink and not too orange for a very natural look. On the top row, we have chamois, a light golden brown color that I like to use in the crease of the eyelid for a natural look. Taupe is the next one, which is very versatile and can be used on the eyebrows as well as an eyeshadow. Espresso adds more depth and can also be used on eyebrows and as a soft edge eyeliner to add more definition to the lash line. On the bottom row, I have pink grapefruit, which adds a bit more warmth and color to the eye and also has a flattering soft shimmer added. Graphite is in the middle, a charcoal gray that can be used as an eyeshadow, eyeliner, or on the eyebrows. Onyx is a rich black that can be used for a more dramatic look for eyeliner or as a shadow for a smoky eye. Now let me show you the first look. I'm going to use lemon cream as a highlight under her brow and also on her eyelid. I'm using a stippling motion with my brush to get a good coverage on the eye. Now I'm loading my brush with chamois eye color and applying it to the crease of the eye, starting at the outside corner, working towards the nose with a windshield wiper motion blending up towards the brow and lifting the corner. So now I have my crease color and I can add a little bit more depth with my taupe, the bottom of the crease, again mostly on the outer corner to accentuate a lift there. Okay, open your eyes. Using the 210 small wedge brush, I'm now applying espresso at the lash line for a soft definition eyeliner. I'm using my small wedge brush and it creates a nice soft definition at the lash line. Just smoothing out the edge and again on the other eye. Now I'm adding definition to her brows with the 210 brush again and espresso eye color. With the 510 large fan brush I'm applying the rose beige cheek color. So I'm starting at the bottom of her cheekbone and blending it up in small circular motions. Reload the brush by gentle sweeping over the cheek color and adding color to the other side to balance the cheeks. Be careful not to load too much product because our eye and cheek colors are very pigment rich, so a little goes a long way. And then you can apply a little more rose beige to the perimeter of the face to create a soft glow of color. And there's our natural look.